a devastating death for a Tulsa family as homicide detectives work to find a killer. Two News Oklahoma's Naomi Kitt talked with family members about Shermaya Breed's life. Naomi. So I got a chance to talk with a 22 year old's great aunt. She told me Maya was sweet and quiet and didn't have any enemies. It's the reason they can't believe she was murdered in her hometown. Beautiful, quiet girl is what she was. Looking at photos of Shermaya Breed, you can see the big, bright smile on her face. I sat down with her great aunt, Lakeisha Smith, Wednesday afternoon. She didn't deserve this. She really, really did not. The 22 year old graduated from Union High School and was really close with her family. She was just a really good girl, never gave her parents any problems. She went to work, she went home. And that was just about it. Family members were baffled when they got the call last Tuesday saying Maya had been killed. We got this video from the scene near 40th and Elgin just before 8. Homicide detectives say the young woman was in her car when someone started shooting at her. Police say neighbors actually heard the gunshots, then came outside to see what was happening. Officers say several of them tried to help this young woman, but unfortunately she died. As a family, we're getting through it. And, uh, you know, just trying to piece together, you know, what's left and you know, adjust to a life, you know, without her. Lakeisha believes Maya was lured to the area, and she's hoping police will be able to go through her phone and learn where she was going and who she was going to meet that night. This family is hurting and needs an answer. Maya will be laid to rest on Saturday afternoon in Sepulpa. In studio, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.